Well, it's clear that we are starting to see things get back a little bit more towards normal. And after a pretty challenging year for airlines, TSA says that it just screened the most number of passengers that it's seen in a single day since last March. WCNC Charlotte's Lana Harris shows us why a lot of folks are looking to travel right now. Yeah, I remember at certain points of the pandemic, the airport looked almost deserted, but TSA says they screened over 1.3 million people on Friday alone. So it does seem like people are starting to get more comfortable. I'm excited. I can't wait. <laughs> it's been a while since Garrick Lane has been on a plane. I have not traveled at all in over a year. And he's not the only one. According to the TSA, 2020 air travel was down over 60% from the previous year, but there are new signs of life. The TSA says on Friday they screened over 1.3 million people, the most screenings in a single day since March 15th of 2020, beating out Thanksgiving, Christmas, and New Year's travel. I think because vaccinations are happening, it's being a little bit more safer. Denasia Pegues says this isn't her first time traveling in the pandemic, and she says the volume has picked up. It has. To me, I feel like it's been really busy. It's much needed good news for airlines. American Airlines CEO Doug Parker announcing they just avoided furloughing thousands of employees after the passing of the COVID relief bill. We can happily say all of our U.S. based team members now have job protection through September 30th of 2021. There aren't going to be any furloughs at American Airlines in April and with vaccinations on the rise, hopefully never again. Lane says he's happy to see things moving back to normal. I think it's great. We got it. Got, we got to live our lives, man. Remember, masks are still required in airports and on the plane. And the CDC says if you don't go get tested after your trip, you should still self-quarantine for 10 days. Here at the airport, I'm Lana Harris, WCNC Charlotte.